Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. Thought I'd do a review on the Longchamp Pliage Crossbody Leather Handbag. It's a smooth leather. I did feature this in my carry-on bag. I 17 high and 7 wide. I do find now after the three weeks of constant use, it has stretched out like all leather has a bit of give and it definitely fitted more at the end of the trip than the start. Um, I don't even see, because it is a soft leather, it did tend to mark a little bit. Got a couple tears in the leather and a few marks. And on the back, it's got a few marks along and scratches, but nothing I can't live without. It's not too bad considering when you are traveling, you do use your bag all the time, whereas day to day, you only carry your bag an hour or so a day. It does have soft leather. It is silver hardware. At the front, you have this small pocket there. On the back, it has the zip with the Longchamp tag on it. It pulls across and opens up to very generous on the inside. I liked how this zip was uh, across to the back of my body. I wore this often on top of coats or under coats. The strap is just a one length strap. It is very long. I did have to, I'm five foot nine and still felt it long as a crossbody. I wore it as a crossbody for traveling, although I don't normally wear bags that way, but just for safety. I pulled it in a little bit and tied a knot. You could cut that or tie a knot. You can do it on both sides. So that was easy enough. I could wear this over lots of layers and a coat for a good length, or sometimes I wore it under my coat and flat to my body, just depended where we were and what sort of crowds we were in. So I'll give you a rough idea of what I carry. I don't carry a lot. I'm not a person that carries everything when I'm traveling and day out just in case. I think if I need a drink of water, I'll buy a bottle of water. Um, it could fit a small bottle of water, but I don't tend to do that. And as it was cold, I wasn't worried about water. As long as I drank something at meal time, I was okay. So the first I've got is my Givenchy trifold wallet that fits in that way. Had some hand wipes. I have a compact lipstick, some mints, and my phone. And you can see how much room there's in there. There's so much room in there. And I can put tissues in there. And that's all I would need. I can shuffle that around. I'm using my phone at the minute. But you can see my phone, sorry. I'm using my camera at the moment, which is a Canon G7X, which could easily fit on its end there, as it's roughly the same height as my wallet. So I had no problem with that. And because it has so much give, I've got a case that I carry the phone in. If I sit that up on its end, you can see that that's not squashed and that would still fit. And that would easily do up. So there's plenty of room in that and I've still got the front little case there to put things down. Often what I did was carry tissues in the front or any tickets I had or anything just for quick easy access so I wasn't looking for them. And as you can see, it's deceptive because it's only 22 centimeters. It's very, very light, very easy to carry, very soft. I didn't have to worry about it in rain or anything like that. And it holds a lot. That stretches. And if you want to carry any more, you easily could. As you can see, I can fit anything that I needed for a day out in this bag. I had no problems with it. I just found it a great little soft travel bag. I think it looked nice, it looked classy without looking flashy to attract the wrong people. I felt that the zip against my body was safe. Like I said, I could wear it under a coat or over my coat. Uh, easy to get into, could fit any extra things I added for the day. And um, I would recommend it. The, the only con to it I would think is that I was disappointed when I noticed the little tear in the leather, and I don't know how it did that, I must have hit something. But I don't mind a little bit of wear and tear look to this particular sort of bag. So, all in all, I love this bag, and I would recommend it. And um, I'd love to hear your comments. Please hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I look forward to seeing you in my next videos on my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.